Hello, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and today I'm here to tell you about or talk to you about depression glassware. I'm going to make this short. Depression glassware is beautiful colored green glass that typically contains uranium as a colorant. It was given out back in 1930s, 40s, and so on during the Depression era, of course. And, uh, of course, afterwards as well. Many of these pieces were handed out to people who could not afford glassware. Keep in mind, people didn't eat off of plastic at the time, so you needed to eat off of glass or ceramic. And, of course, that was hard to come by when people didn't have very much money. But they remained popular, of course, even after World War II. Uh, and uh, uh, uranium-colored objects had been produced, not, n not ever since, but for many years afterwards including the famous Fiesta, uh, Fiesta wear red, gla uh, red plates, which were made up until, what, 1960, 70, somewhere in there. Well, they still are made, but they're not made with uranium anymore. As you can see, I have three pieces of glassware here. One of them is not real. The other two are. And I'll show you in a minute how you can tell. I went to my local uh, antique shop today, and I bought one of these pieces for $5. I used a Geiger counter to determine its authenticity. Some people use a blacklight. They both work. Here is a Geiger counter. This is my Inspector EXP. This is a really good Geiger counter. It is a very, very high quality, nice Geiger counter. Let's turn it on. Well, it's on. Let's turn the sound on. We're registering anywhere from 20-some to about 42 counts per minute normally. You notice you don't pick up very much radiation. Obviously, though, this is radioactive. This is also radioactive. This is not. This piece here is not Vaseline glass. You gotta admit, it, it does look very similar. Actually, hopefully the effect carries on a video camera. It may not. It may not look to you at all like, uh, like a, a Vaseline glass or a depression glass. By the way, if I say Vaseline glass, there are several different types. There's Vaseline, Canary, and Carnival glass. All three of those are made with uranium colorant as well, and I have a tendency to sometimes say Vaseline glass because my very first piece I ever got was Vaseline glass. This is actually depression glass. Same basic family of things, same basic colorant but they look different. They have this beautiful green color to them. So let's remove the fake one. It's actually plastic. These are the real things. I'll turn the black, black light on in a minute and turn the light off so that you can see what it looks like under a black light. Now, let me show you what kind of reading you can get off of this. Let me untangle my Geiger counter cord. Don't want your Geiger counter cord to get tangled. Let's put the Geiger counter right here where you can see the readings. Let me check my camera and make sure that you can see those readings. You may be able to see the readings. I'll read them off to you though to make sure that you can. Turn the piece upside down. Place the probe carefully on top. The, the base is a good place to get a reading. You will not contaminate the probe most likely because A it's pointed down so scraps won't fall into it and B the glassware doesn't usually have much particulate matter coming off of it. By the way, we're at 714 counts and, and climbing. 855, 1000, 1156, 1287, 1385. I have my hand here to catch this if it tries to fall. 1455, 1470, 1430. So we're starting to level off now. We'll call this about 1,400, give or take, in total counts per minute. It goes up and down a little bit. The uh, Inspector Geiger counter has a 99% efficiency for detecting uranium-238. So the actual count is a little tiny bit higher. If you take the count and you divide it by the efficiency, you will reach the actual amount. For example, if the efficiency of the Geiger counter were 50%, and I got a reading of 1,000, if I divide um, 1,000 by, uh, what is it, 
0.5, I should get, what, 2,000? I think so, yes. So that's the number of actual counts you're getting. Here, I'm having a brain, I'm having a, um, a mathematical brain lock at this point. I have no idea why. Maybe it's the time of the day. 1,000 divided by 0.5 is 2, yeah, well, sorry, 100 divided by 0.5 is 200. So yeah, I'm getting, I had my brain off a little bit. So if in reality, if I am detecting 1,400 counts normally, and I divide that by 0.99, the efficiency of, of, of this Geiger counter detecting uranium, then 1414 is about what I'm really getting. The point of the matter is, the Geiger counter has the ability to detect different types of radioactivity at different efficiencies. Technetium 99M, for example, the gamma rays coming off of it, less than 1% efficiency, meaning that if I see a thousand counts on this from somebody who has Technetium 99 treatment, in reality, it could be a hundred times or more, and but I just can't detect them because they go through the unit. Hey, look, we hit 15. But of course, it fluctuates because this is emitting radiation at a particular level, at a particular rate. All right, now before we switch to black light, let's switch to the other piece and let you see what it looks like. Again, similar readings, but lower. They're dropping, and they drop down to eight, nine hundred, somewhere in there. You don't quite hit a thousand with this unit. Maybe inside we might. Almost now we're dropping down to the high eight hundreds. Obviously, obviously this guy is more radioactive. Now let's switch to just the black lights. So you can see how nice it can look. Pardon me as I jump in the line and the light. There you go. Look at that. Now let me pull this up where you can see it. As you can see, the black light fluoresces, well rather the uranium oxide fluoresces under black light. It's really quite beautiful. If you were to take a black light with you and go into a um, into a shop that sells old, old things like an antique shop and shine a little handheld black light against some of the glassware if it glowed back at you like this it's a very 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 good chance that you're looking at uranium glassware although other things glow as well like this let me pull it off of its little mount here I'm looking in the camera to make sure you can see this see it moving in my hand this you probably can't see it up close. This is a piece of tritium. Well, it's not a piece of tritium. It's tritium gas inside of a cylinder. My camera's not very good at up close. Tritium. Tritium also looks good under black light, although it glows in regular uh, regular darkness as well. But it's a lot of fun. And if you put your hand in between, you see immediately how it darkens. So folks, in short, this is Vaseline, I keep calling it Vaseline glass, this is depression glass. Very similar to its cousin, the, the Vaseline glass, except my Vaseline glass piece does not glow under a black light at all, which is kind of interesting. Let's see what happens, by the way, before we finish this video. If I put the, the Geiger counter on the underneath part, I get almost nothing, almost no readings. Let me cut the regular light back on. The reason I'm getting almost no readings is because the Geiger counter's front piece right here that you see, the, the uh, uh, coppery colored piece, that's the detector and the back side is just metal and it blocks almost all of the radiation. Turn it over, much different effect. Let's see what the plastic cap does. This plastic cap shields a lot of alpha and beta. You're still getting a reading, but it's not as high. That's because all of the alpha that's emitted from this glass is being blocked by this plastic cap. We're getting pure gamma now. We're getting a lot of gamma.
almost 600 counts. Let's move this away. There. So 600 counts are gamma. 800 counts includes the alpha. The last thing I'd like to show you is, of course, this piece of lead. The lead's wrapped in aluminum foil. Let's use the more radioactive object. See what I mean? The lead, three millimeters of lead, stops the radiation in its tracks. As a result, the container which I keep my objects in, let me put it over here, get my plastic container out of the way, it has aluminum in the inside because when beta particles from some of the objects I contain, beta, when it strikes lead, it can sometimes actually produce gamma radiation, which is kind of odd. Lead, uh, lead is actually not good for beta. But aluminum foil stops it dead, so I have aluminum foil on the inside. Lots of aluminum foil. And there's the glassware piece. If you see the glassware piece, of course, is producing radiation. When I put this lead in front, of, I mean this aluminum, it still produces it right through the lead. I'm, excuse me, right through the aluminum. The aluminum has almost no effect. Let me move this out of the way here and show you a little better. The aluminum has almost no effect on blocking radiation from a gamma source. It's stopping all of the alpha, but not the gamma. So we're still going to get 500 counts off of gamma, but that two to 300 counts worth of alpha is gone. Same as when I put the cap over it. But again, you put that lead in between, stops it dead. Now let me show you the final piece before I end this video. I take my device. If you see me sweating profusely, it's because my AC is trying as hard as it can, but I don't know if you've looked in the news, the eastern United States is having a heat wave like you wouldn't believe. Now with both, both of my beautiful, beautiful depression glass pieces put away in their little safety container, the aluminum starting over the top, and finally the lead top piece, let's see what we get. We should be getting up to 42 counts per minute in this house. Stops the radiation dead in its tracks. Open it up. It's coming right through. Close it. Nothing. Maybe through this hole. Get a little bit through this little slit right here, which is the skirting is supposed to help block. But that lead, it just stops the radiation dead. And so, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and always keep your uh, items protected and far away where nobody will be injured by them. Bye bye.